Hey, and uh, welcome to today's edition of Cracking Cryptic, where we're going to take a look back at the Times Crossword Championship from last weekend, um, won by Mark, of course. Um, and I'm going to go through some of the uh, the clues I really liked from the puzzles. Well, I say really liked, um, either that I really liked or I found really hard, um, so you can take your pick. Um, so we're going to look at um, six of the puzzles overall, a couple of clues from, from each of them. Um, and I thought we'd do this in a way that gives you the chance to sort of solve them um, as we had to. So um, I should state up front that if you want to do these puzzles um, uh, in, in the ordinary course, then don't look at this video because uh, it does contain spoilers. And the puzzles themselves, I think, will appear every Wednesday for the next eight weeks now. So. Um, you know, if you want to have a completely pure experience of solving the puzzles live, then um, switch off. If, on the other hand, you, um, you know, you're interested to see what we faced and to hear some thoughts about some of the really difficult and interesting clue clues, then stay tuned in. So, the, the, the first puzzle is from semi-final two, which was the one I was participating in. I uh, picked out a couple of clues here, neither of which I think are monstrous, but both are, I just really like them. The second one I think is the most uh, beautiful surface, um, but fairly straightforward. Um, the first one also, not too difficult, just needs a bit of lateral thought. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, if you've already got them, that's great. If you haven't already got them, I'm going to give you some letters. Um, so for this one, um, you could have got, um, let's have a look and just double check that I'm not giving you too much information. And yes, you could have had um, enough for you to see the answer there. And for this one, um, again, I think you could have got the first letter here, so you would have got Okay. So the next thing to note is, uh, I'll just highlight, I know it won't let me use it, I'm using Microsoft Paint, I was going to highlight the definition. So. Um, definition of the first one, regular carrier. Um, a beginning at badminton, well a beginning at the game of badminton is a shuttle service. Um, and that's, so it's a sort of very nice uh, sort of double definition, but the beginning of badminton isn't really a, a definition, it's just a play on words. Um, and in the second clue there, you have to work out there that the, the definition is bread. Um, and then you've got some butter, which is a pat, as in a pat of butter, P-A-T, and that's being uh, included in the word chai, for tea, to give chapati. Um, so I thought it was really nice. Um, let's look at the second puzzle now. Okay, so hopefully you can see um, clues up on the screen now. Um, this puzzle gave me a lot of problems, especially the second clue. But let's let's start with the first one. So I just this wasn't a particularly difficult clue, but it is a very nice clue. So likelihood of one looking for gold not finding it. So have a think about that. Um, I think actually the clue did have a question mark at the end. So if that if that helps you solve it, then sure. Second one down. Um, well, what I'll tell you is that I spent 20 minutes on this one clue. Um, I very nearly handed in the wrong answer, but sort of persuaded myself to stick with it because accuracy is so important with the Times Crossword Championship. If you if you get one wrong, you you won't come anywhere at all. Um, and I did eventually stumble into the right answer without really knowing why. Um, so if you can solve this cold, fair play to you. You are way ahead of the game. And the third clue I've included, because I think by common consensus, this was um, very hard to 
be confident about under the time pressure. So I think a lot of people reach the situation that we're going to reach in a moment where I give you the letters, um, but um, could see an answer, but could not see why it was the answer. And so they, um, uh, there was uh, a lot of um, concern that people may have handed in the wrong answer. Um, but anyway, let's get on to that now. I'm going to put in some letters to um, help you. Okay, so there you go. Um, there are the letters. So the first one, have a think, pause the video by all means if you want to really give it some thought, having some checking letters. Um, we'll talk about it now though. So um, the definition here is likelihood. Um, and then you need to, to realize that somebody who look, who's looking for gold is a prospector. And if the prospector doesn't have his OR at the end, and OR is an abbreviation for gold, um, then you have prospect, which is which is likelihood. So that's a beautiful clue, I thought. A very nice spot by the setter to see that you could take the OR out of prospector. And it was all sort of relevant. So I really thought that was good. The second one down. Now, this is... Um, the definition here is dull maybe, I'll tell you that, um, and then the word play breaks down, you need a short word for you, uh, distort finally is hinting at a T, i.e. the last letter of distort, um, and then you need to put those two components that you've just found around the edge of some body parts. And if you did all that correctly, you would come up with the word tear sheet or tear sheet um, I don't actually know how to pronounce it but um, doll tear sheet was a character in Henry IV part 2 one of William Shakespeare's plays not a character I knew I you know I knew mistress quickly if it had been someone slightly more well known I would have had some chance but this this one I didn't know I almost had it in team sheet because I I sort of was thinking about V and T around the edge of some body parts, but for some reason ears didn't occur to me quickly. I thought of hands, I remember that. But um, anyway, I spent an age on this. Um, eventually I handed it in thinking tear sheet was maybe something, you know, a child wept over and that maybe was what the doll was getting at. But but no, it needed a bit more erudition than, than I had. And um, yeah, although I got it right, it took me forever. And um, the final clue, well the trick here is really to know how to split the clue correctly into a definition, into wordplay. Uh, and it's far from obvious how to do that. Um, actually the definition here is problem doesn't exist. Um, and if a problem doesn't exist, um, you might say it's no sweat, which is the answer. And then the wordplay is not that difficult once you manage to split the clue in correctly because what you've got here is, a, unfortunately, is an anagram indicator. And you take the first five letters of answer and then the two, the T and the O, and it's an anagram because you know sweat. So perhaps not that difficult. Uh, and everyone could see no sweat as a possibility when they had the checking letters. It's just, um, I, I think for them, majority of people they handed that in without passing it without actually being confident they'd understood it um, and that uh, yeah that leads to a few uh, heart stopping moments anyway let's go on to the next puzzle okay so here are the two clues I've selected from this puzzle um, first again it's not the hardest clue in the puzzle but I I mean I just applaud the surface um, around noon the sun late rising again um, you know, it conjures up the image of sort of a teenager lazing in bed. Um, and yeah, yet it's a, a perfect cryptic clue. So um, the definition, well, actually, I'll, no, I'll come on, I'll give you the checking letters. So let's take a look at the second one. Um, the reason I think, I thought this was an extremely clever piece of wordplay. Um, and, um, and also the set of I'm sure is deliberately trying to mislead the solver here with um, uh, with how he's phrased the clue. So have a think about them cold, and then in a minute I'm just going. In a moment I'm just going to give you the checking letters. 
Okay, so there you should be able to see them now. Um, so what's going on with this first clue? Well, around the outside of N for noon, A and S for sun, so around NAS, you put recent, which means late. Um, if something's of late, it's recent. Um, and the whole thing then reads renaissant, which means rising again. So, you know, I just thought that was extremely elegant. Um, and the second clue, um, well, I'm sure you've got it now looking at the, the, the checking letters. So the answer's runs low, um, which means starts to become exhausted. If something starts to become exhausted, it runs low. Um, but this is so, I think this is extremely clever because if you just move the spacing uh, one letter back, you get the, the phrase run slow, which means to lose time. Um, so the setters notice this and, um, and use this to, you know, uh, in the wordplay. But then he's added on to that this, um, I'm sure, deliberate deception. So starts to become exhausted. I'm sure every experienced solver reads that that phrase and is thinking, right, this begins BE. If it, if it's the starts to the word become and the word exhausted. And then we need a five letter word for, that means lose and the whole thing will mean time. Well, yeah, that's certainly what I thought and it was absolutely wrong. Um, so fair play to the setter with that. I thought this was um, another great clue. And what we'll do now is we'll turn to the grand final puzzles. Um, the puzzles mark race through in about 20 minutes, so averaging just over, well, just under seven minutes a puzzle. Um, uh, quite extraordinary. Um, but let's take a look at some of the best clues from these puzzles. Okay, so here again I've selected two clues, um, both of which superb, I think, uh, exhibitions of the setter's art. So the first one isn't that difficult, actually. Um, but, you know, it conjures up a picture, as so many of these good clues do. It uh, reads very naturally, um, and yet, you know, contains within it the, the elements that you need. So there's a definition there, uh, and there's some wordplay. The second is, um, is another great clue, um, and actually you need to read the whole clue. Uh, there's no, the definition is actually the whole clue there and you need to read it in a particular way in order to understand what the set is getting at. So have a think about those and then I'm going to give you some letters. Okay, so here are the letters. So again, pause the video, feel free to pause it um, and I'll start to talk through. So definition in the first clue there is astonished. And then you need a four-letter word for a group of rugby players, and it's not pack. Um, and then you need to put that word after an A, so you can see the A already there, and then point, and point is very often a compass point. Um, and you can see if you do that correctly, you get awestruck, A West Ruck, which is, um, yeah, it's just a perfect clue. Now the second one, I'm sure you've already got it if you're looking at the, the checking letters. I'm not sure how many um, words fit there other than the actual answer. Um, and yeah, it's obviously it's Braille and the whole thing, um, it means what it says. You can't, you can't argue about it. It's just, um, you know, again, it's conjuring up an image of a, uh, an actor or an actress reading script. Um, uh, and, or even Richard Burton reading Under Milk Wood or something, but it's um, uh, yeah, it's not about that at all. Um, and um, yeah, I thought that was great. Right, so I'll take a couple of looks, a couple of clues from Puzzle Two now. Okay, so here are the two clues I've chosen from this puzzle. Um, the first, I think, is I found a very difficult uh, clue. Um, Actually, speaking to a couple of other solvers after the after the event, I mean, I'm not sure everyone else had as much problem with it as I did. Um, and the second I've chosen simply because this was one of the more unusual words that, that came up in the finals. Um, I don't recall any other sort of really outlandish bits of vocabulary that one would need to know apart from the tear sheet. Um, but I thought that, you know this was 
I mean, it's a word I know, but only really through crosswords. Um, so I thought we'd include it just for uh, just as a talking point. Um, now, the first one, OK, I'm going to give you some letters now. So if you want to try and cold solve it, um, go ahead and, and fair play if you get it. OK, so you probably have now. I mean, the, the checking letters here are extremely helpful, obviously. But it's, it's quite interesting to, um, to pass the clues. So we've got faithful here being the definition. Um, and then Bible teachings is being used to give us word, as in, you know, the word. Um, and that's being given to Polish, or, uh, or as it's intended to be read in the wordplay sense, polish. And if you polish something, you perfect it. So the whole thing is word perfect, and if it's something's word perfect, it's faithful. Um, yeah, and it's just two, yeah, two quite difficult synonyms, I think, to grasp, um, especially under time pressure. And then the second clue there, well, regular couple from Delft, we can all see how that, that's going to give us an E and an F. Um, so just taking the even letters out of the word Delft. And then provide, well, that's fend. And then current, well, we've seen that abbreviated to I before. Um, so effendi, and effendi is a term of address. Um, so perhaps everyone's very familiar with that. But uh, although you know, I know the word, it's not, it's not one I use every day. Um, so yeah, I think I needed the I before I solved that one. Here in the, I'm doing grand final puzzles. So let's look at the final grand final puzzle now. Okay, and this was perhaps my favourite puzzle of the whole event, and these two clues I think were my two favourite puzzle, favourite clues from the whole event. Um, I know, well, actually, yellow submarine, which Mark mentioned for um, a single chicken sandwich, was was also that was a beautiful clue, um, and in fact that was from this puzzle. So uh, I think I'm fully justified in saying that this was this was full of absolute gems. Um, first clue here, uh, I just love it. I mean, it's, I'm not saying it's difficult, it's not that difficult, but the the, the, uh, the definition um, and the way it's been integrated into the into the surface reading is just a joy. Um, so have a think about that. Try and solve it cold because I think it, you know, it means so much more if you do. And then the second one here, I mean, the setter has taken a little bit of li license with the capitalization, but um, again, it's um, uh, it's an absolutely brilliant clue. So I'm going to give you some letters now. Okay. So again, I think giving the letters makes you know all of a sudden you can see what's going on. Um, so the first one, uh, the definition is actually ducking shots in there. And if you're ducking shots, you're camera shy. And that's obviously an anagram of chase and army. Um, and I just, you know, the, the, it, it's hard to think of how you could clue camera shy better than this. Um, you know, the, the picture that the clue presents as a sort of image is so different from where the answer leads you. Um, that's fair play, brilliant. And then the second clue, well, this was quite hard to see where the split needs to come. It actually needs to come after the word burger. So the definition here is king fan. Um, and then what you've got is an anagram of stomach in and an R, which is the end for burger. So the last letter of burger is an R. You anagram all those up and you can come up with the word monarchist, which of course is a king fan. Um, so upset stomach in the end for Burger King fan is nothing to do with uh, fast food joints um, and uh, instead to do with uh, royalists. So um, yeah, I, wonderful, wonderful puzzle. How quite you solve all these puzzles in so quickly. Uh, we'll have to ask Mark to explain in more detail. Um, I have my own theories. Um, you know, he's very quick at reading. He's got absolute mapping in terms of what the knowledge is to solve times crosswords and he has um, uh, a freaky ability to look at 
you know, if you gave him some of these checking letters, if you just gave him, and his first clue, if you just gave him the C and the Y, and said list every single, uh, you know, word in the English language or phrase in the English language six three that fits fits that pattern, he could do it in almost instantly. Um, now that that allows him to basically imprint different answers upon you know the clues and come up with um, you know possible answers um, and plausible answers much more quickly than the average bear. And uh, yeah, well, I hope you're all going to vote for him in Sports Personality of the Year. Um, if not, why not? Um, I don't understand, or I can't think of another another example of where someone's dominated their discipline for such a long time and by such a margin. Um, and that's I only say that slightly tongue in cheek. Um, anyway, I hope this has been an interesting video. It's a bit different today, and we'll see you again tomorrow for a normal edition.